Okay, welcome to Fix It With Jeff. Today we're gonna to be working on our 2001 Cadillac DeVille. Uh, we received an engine, check engine code. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Um, I think it's related to the spark plugs and the ignition coils, which are here. There's an ignition coil there. We're also gonna go through and show you how to remove that check valve in the easiest fashion. And, um, Go ahead and get started here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our OBD scanner. A little cheap one I got from Amazon. Simple, just does check engine codes. Go ahead and start our vehicle. Just so you can see how bad we're running. So we do get a little bit of smoke. I did check the oil and we do not have coolant in the oil. There's no, so this may be due to something else. So we're gonna try to get that resolved today. And that could be due to oil on the engine. That's when uh, you do have an oil leak. So, as you can see, it's running a little rough. Uh, it's running a little bit rough. So, we're going to go ahead and see what we can fix today. So, what we are going to do is we are going to remove or disconnect our negative terminal on our battery. And that is located under the back seat here. And simply just grab your seat, give it a good yank, and there's your battery. So we're gonna go ahead and get an eight millimeter ratchet socket and um, go ahead and disconnect our negative cable. Okay, so in referencing our um, Chilton's repair manual, You'll see the steps here. This is the, we're gonna focus on the rear one because that's the hardest one. The front one is pretty simple. I removed the shroud here and it's just held on with a couple pins. And we're gonna also move this out the way. And we have 10 millimeter bolts that hold on the ignition coil. So we will uh, get those removed. Uh, we also wanna remove our engine shroud here. So this is with a 13 millimeter to remove the two bolts here to hold the engine shroud on. Then we have these back bolts. Those are probably 10 millimeter as well that hold on this uh, vacuum pump valve. So I'll we'll show the steps on getting that out. They say in the book, so if you read the book here, it says event so on, let's see chapter six. So we'll go ahead, chapter six. So the rear vacuum check control valve. So the best way they say to remove it, these bolts here, is from underneath the car. So we will go ahead and get those removed from underneath the car. And we'll go ahead and follow these steps and take out the hoses and the bracket that holds on that vacuum pump. Okay, so we have our valve cover off. Uh, we went ahead and pulled off our vacuum line here, and then we also have this that we pulled off. So we'll finish pulling that off. Then we have a bolt here, a bolt here. We also have a bolt here that we're going to remove. They're all 10 millimeters. And I think there's some bolts back there. One bolt I see right there. And then we have to get underneath to get that uh, flexible line off. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. Okay, so we have our vehicle lifted. We have jack stands holding it up as well as the jack too. Go ahead and get our safety goggles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath 
and see if we could see the three remaining bolts that we have to take off for that um, vacuum pump. Okay, I do see it. I don't know if it's gonna be any easier from under here or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and try, see what we can do. Okay, so to get us more leverage, cause we gotta get three bolts back down here off. I tried to get from underneath, wasn't working. So we're gonna take this sensor off and this is on um, with a number 10 bolt. To get to our um, other bolts down there, we're gonna go ahead and use our swivel an extension and see if we could reach that bolt. Okay, so we got we got on this bolt. Okay, so we got this bracket out. We had to access these two nuts from below. So it was actually kind of not that hard to get up in there and access those two bolts. And then we had that we were able to get this bolt from the top. So this was in there like that. So now we could go ahead and get our ignition coil out. We're gonna figure out how to unclip the connection here. And then we could go ahead and get our ignition coil out and then take the spark plugs out. So we got our first coil out. A little tough to get out because of that uh, hose that's in the way. So very careful if you wiggle it around, it'll come out. Um, so we gotta be careful putting the new one in. But yeah, this is one of the coils. So we'll go ahead and get the spark plugs out now. Now to get the spark plugs out, there's a little like boot in here. So we're gonna pull these boots out first. Okay, so here's our boots. We got four of them back here. Okay, so I go ahead and get our third one out. And now we'll get our final one out. Okay. So we'll also try to clean these up a little bit. As you can see, they're a little dirty. So maybe we'll get a Q-tip or something, get in there and clean those up. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and get the plugs out. So we're going to go ahead and get our um, our socket. Okay, so we have a 5.8 socket for our, our spark plugs. These are our new plugs. We're going to go ahead and get our old ones out first. Now it's probably best to do this with a magnetic type. Okay, I think we got our first one loose. Yeah, mighty tight in there. So we got our rear plugs out. As you can see, they're in very bad condition compared to our new one. So this is what our new one, as you can see, the electrodes, well, the electrodes pretty much gone. So that's why we were riding really rough. So we're gonna go ahead, put our new ones in and get our back coil on, and then we're gonna work on the okay, front. So we got our back plugs in, we put our boots back in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our ignition coil in. Now you want to uh, make sure that you there's a sequence to tightening this. So you want to make sure you um, follow the sequence for tightening, tightening this. So when we put this on, we'll be putting it on this way. This is showing the coil the other way. So our first nut we're going to tighten would be one. And then we're going to go two. And then we're gonna go three. And then we're gonna go four. So we wanna follow this pattern all the way up to get all eight bolts in. So now let's go ahead and uh, wiggle our back coil in. Okay. 
move it into position. I'm still caught on the little bracket back here. Let's get that out. Okay. ignition coil pack in. Now we'll go ahead and set our bolts. We'll tighten them down in the sequence but we'll just go ahead and get them started. Okay, so we finished our job. We got our um, vacuum line back on, uh, tightened everything down, hooked up all the connectors. We put our valve cover back on. We did the fronts, so the same way with the fronts as it showed you in the back. Um, we went ahead and reconnected our battery. So we'll go ahead and put our seat back in. We did go ahead and clear our coats, so um, we'll test it for a few days and see what happens. Go ahead, start it up, see how it runs. Now we still might have a little bit of smoking because there was a lot of oil on those um, on the spark plugs, so a lot of that has to dissipate. But um, I ran it a while already, and we're already calmed down a little bit on our smoke. So it's not smoking that bad, but at least we know it's not um, it's not a blown head gasket. So we think we got some bad piston rooms. So we'll go ahead and pull it out. See how it drives. Now we don't have any check engine lights, so we'll see. Probably like after 100 miles, something might come on. Uh, Cause there is still some other codes that we got to go and evaluate and see what's going on with those codes. But as of right now, we don't have uh, any codes right now. Should have cleared our misfire code at least. So we changed all eight spark plugs and both ignition coils. Okay, so um, when we would back up, it would jerk a lot because we had a bad coil, we had a misfire. So every time we would back up, it it jerked. And now it's nice and smooth backing up. It doesn't make that that uh, shaking noise anymore. It's running really good. Um, I'm I got it in drive and holding the brake. It's running real good. The engine is nice and quiet now. So um, you know, after a while, we might get. Our codes come back because there's some other codes in here that we have to evaluate see what's going on but other than that i call this a su successful job and i would rate this probably an eight only because of those back ones they're very hard to get to with that um vacuum valve in the way and trying to get to that vacuum valve so i would rate this job an eight only because of the back other than that the front took me i would say 10 minutes to do i got the fronts off the spark plugs out the new ones in it took me only about 10 minutes but um, the most of my work was all in the back. Till next time, fix it with Jeff. Thank you, like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.